we have another sample question. This one is a cup of coffee with a silver spoon putting into the coffee and uh, they are, the spoon is used to stir the coffee. So basically the silver spoon is 50 gram and initially it's 20 degrees Celsius and the specific heat capacity of the spoon is actually 0.23 times 10 power 3. Whereas the coffee is actually 90 degrees Celsius and uh, by putting the silver spoon into the coffee perhaps there could be some kind of a final temperature when they reach thermal equilibrium meaning 90 degree could have changed to theta and this 20 could have changed to theta as well okay this theta is the thermal equilibrium temperature so so we, with this we want to calculate first and foremost the heat absorbed by silver spoon okay the heat absorbed by silver spoon we can try A, so Q, heat absorbed by the silver spoon, will be MC theta, changes of theta of course. So we have the mass of the spoon being 0 0.05 kg, and then C of the spoon is uh, 0 0.23 times 10 3, and then times, what's the changes of temperature? They gave us in the question that the final temperature is 89. They gave us in the question the final temperature is 89. So we have 89 minus 20. So this value will give us okay, 0 0.7935 kilojoules. So that is equivalent to 793.5 joule. Okay, you must press or calculate it calculated again to verify whether this uh, value is correct or not because sometimes reference book they have some kind of mini minor typing mistakes okay check so B they are basically asking uh, what is the specific heat capacity of coffee okay so what is the mass of the coffee do we have the mass of the coffee the mass of the coffee is uh, 0 0.2 kg the mass of a coffee okay so that is also given so this heat absorption of silver spoon they actually get it from the release of heat by the coffee and because of this relation we can conclude that 793.5 is actually contributed by coffee so the coffee go through MC theta as well. So the M is 0 0.2. The C of the coffee is what we are supposed to find. And the changes is of theta is only 1. Do you realize that? Because 90 degrees Celsius change to 89 degrees Celsius. The changes is only 1 Celsius. Okay. So after some calculation, you realize that you will be able to get this value. I'm going to use a red pen to differentiate from the others. You're going to get this, a value of 3970 Joule per kg per degree Celsius. 3970. 